hello everyone so welcome to the channel of rd technical learning so in this video we are going to cover one more concept related to java which is about public static void main now these type of java interview questions are regularly asked to the people who are trying for test automation job or for the people who are looking to switch their job from manual testing to automation testing so how you should answer these questions and what would be the meaning of all these things in detail so let us look into this particular video but before that if you're watching this video for the very first time then please do like share and subscribe our channel right now in this video we will be seeing what is public static void main string arguments so whenever you will run your java programs so you will always write these you will always write this line right but what does that mean okay so public static void main string arguments okay so now public static and void these three are keywords right so what I'll do is I'll explain this thing in detail and simultaneously we will also see what kind of interview questions would be asked. So generally you would be asked the interview question is main also a keyword or not. So it's not a keyword. The keywords in this particular line are only three. That is public, static and void. Now what is public? Let's start with the first word itself. What is public? Right. So in an interview, if you're not able to recall, then think about access specifiers. Right public private protected they all have they all have access with respect to their terminology what does public means if you go to any public place right it is accessible to everyone everyone can go but if you go to some private house you will have to call them and you will have to arrange one uh, schedule one meeting and then only you would be you'll have to take an appointment for example if you go to a doctor you will have to schedule an appointment first and then you would be able to go and visit that private doctor right so what is public public is an access specifier it is accessible to everyone now why do we need to keep main method as public again this is an interview question right so why do we have to keep main as public because jvm now what is jvm java virtual machine it will call the main method from outside the class right so that's why we need to keep it as public because it you if you will keep it as protected if you will keep it as private then it will be restricted to be used within that particular program within that particular class only that is why you have to keep that as public so that it is accessible from outside as well getting it so understand in this way and then you would be able to answer and explain in an interview and it's not only for interview clearing this is also for knowledge purpose right you should have such kind of clear crystal knowledge so that you are able to answer it with more confidence in an interview okay now what is static okay so static is again a keyword okay why do we have to keep this uh, main method as static because we don't have to create an object of that so that jvm can use it without creating an object right so that is why it is static now what is void okay void means if you just look at the dictionary void means nothing it's null right so we have to keep it as void because the return value would be zero right return value is nothing for main so that is why it's kept as void okay and main is not at all a keyword right it's actually the name so now let's look into this particular detail so what is public it is one of the access specifier which are the other access specifiers private protected what is the difference between all these three right then jvm calls main method from outside class that is why we have to keep this as public right now static if method is static then you don't have to create an object because main method would be accessed from outside right that is program would be compiled it would be interpreted right so main method is static so that jvm can invoke it without instantiating the class without creating the object right again void is a keyword it means nothing would be written
okay and main is it is the name of the java main method it is the identifier that the jvm looks from the starting point of the java program again it's not a keyword okay now what if i write m capital instead of uh, m in small i mean to say if i write m in uppercase letter instead of writing m here in lowercase letter then what would happen so let's see that live in program right so let me open my ide okay and what we need to do is we have to put main method in uppercase letters okay now let me share my screen of ide okay so real time you i will show you the real time things what is happening so that you can understand with more clarity and you would be able to answer so what we have done is we have created one package in that package we have class in class we have main method so this will be the hierarchy of all your programs you will be having one package you'll be having one uh, class in that and again you will be having main method okay now let's say if i run this program then what would happen what would be the output if i run this program okay so output is automation now you can see here main method m was written in lower case writer now we have switched it to upper case now i'll be running the program and i'll be showing you what is the output but before that if anyone would like to guess what is what would be the output now because now we have changed the m of main from lower case to upper case what would be the output of the program so you can put in the comment section of this video and be interact interactive sorry right because see whenever you put comments you would come to know okay you are knowing the output of this program that means you have that knowledge and even if you jot it down wrong no one is going to come and see oh see this fellow didn't know the output of this program so that is totally fine this videos are created for learning purpose only and those are absolutely free again these are i'll, I'll categorize into a category of publics public uh, access specifier right it is for everyone it is for each and every one of you so please do take the advantage of these videos right see now it's a vacation festival time is going on we all have holidays so let's utilize this time in learning right i'm also utilizing this time in creating videos for you right so similarly you should also utilize this time okay now system.out.println now let's run this program let's see the output i believe some of you have written the output okay you can see main method is not found in the class please define the main method as public static void main you got this error in console right you have you are supposed to define main method with m in lower case letters only so case sensitivity plays a vital role here right so even this is an interview question what if you write m in uppercase letter what would happen it you will get an error right the program will not run and it says main method not found in class without main method it will not run and it is also giving you a suggestion please define the main method as public static void main string arguments so this is how you will be writing this particular statement public static void main string arguments okay now let's move to the next keyword what was that sorry not a keyword it is string arguments now what is string arguments it's a predefined class let me share okay what i'll do is i'll put all these notes in the comment section of this video right so you can refer them when you have interviews right watch these videos and clear your interviews right nothing would make us more happy more motivating in creating videos now what is string arguments now let's break it again and understand what is string so string is a predefined class have you heard about uh, program of reversing a string right what is the length of that particular string so string is a predefined class that is already available in java and it's a it's a you know rule 
that whatever the first return first letter would be there it would be written in the capital letters so string is a class the first letter would be written in the caps uppercase letters string s and and it's what is args what is arguments it is an array of type java dot lang dot string class right so it's a parameter and it is not fixed user can use in any name in place of it right so it's not fixed so now we saw about public static void main now let us see about if we miss to write string arguments but generally if you use id that public static void main would come properly as it is so what i did is i changed string from uppercase letter to lowercase letter right and you can see the error that id has started giving you can use any id if you are comfortable with uh, eclipse you can use that if you are comfortable with intellij you can use that id is fine totally fine right see string cannot be resolved to type you got this error right earlier we had written s in uppercase letters right so this is a detailed explanation of public static void main string arguments which is a very important and repeatable question asked to many of the people who are looking for test automation jobs who are looking to switch from manual testing to automation testing or who are trying to get into a qa jobs in companies where automation might start so these type of questions will be definitely asked to you right so in this video we covered the java interview questions which can be asked based on testing profiles based on qa job opportunities right and please let me know in the comment section of this video what kind of improvement you need in this video because this is the first time that we have started creating such videos we have started coming up with this kind of content if any improvement if any suggestion is there feel free to give in the comment section of the video also put in the comment section of the video what kind of topics you would want us to cover right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates